Welcome back. Now we're going to do example two. Design the FBD for the following logic gates, NAND, NOR, and ZOR. Super easy and well-known logic gates we use quite often. So this is what I've written here, a Boolean expression for this logic. Now if you see NAND, it's basically NOT operation of AND. So here in my in my presentation, I could not make a bar. So I put this, this symbol here, which indicates it's a NOT operation, okay? This, this small comma on the top. So a dot b, or you can also put multiplication. This is just to show you how somewhere you will, you might find the sign for and operation. Sometimes it's dot, so it's quite similar. It's quite the same. So a dot b bar is your nad, and a plus b. If you see, it's a bracket. You know, this is not is not on b. It's in the whole and operation. So that is a nor gate. In case of zor, you have a dot b plus a b dot. So these are the boolean gates we have to design in FPD. Very simple. So first one is a NAND one. So let's go back to our logic and I disconnect my PLC. So for NAND operation, what you need, you need here not. Okay, so you don't need third input. And you can maybe double click that and find a not operation. Here you have assignment of negation to the boolean variable. Just select that. Now you have a not operation. There you go. This is your NAND gate. And if you want to write a comment here, maybe you can find a comment and I can type here NAND gate. So that's the NAND gate. Let's try. I will download this to my PLC and we see the result. Now this is a little bit annoying that downloading to the PLC takes much more time. <laughs> compared to the other PLCs. But it's okay, a little bit patience is fine. And if you don't have a real PLC, for sure you know that you can use a simulator. So you can always use a simulator for practicing these exercises, where it is much easier to turn on the inputs and visualize the output. So it's downloaded. And let's see the status. So what will happen in NAND gate? In NAND gate, let's see, we have some inputs and the status is false. So false and false, the output is false from the AND gate. So when output is false, its inverse is true. That's why the output is true. So when both the inputs are false, the output will be true. So what happens if I actuate the first input? In this case, let's do that. I turn on my first input. Now, let me zoom it a little bit. True and false is again false, right? Because this is an AND operation. One zero is zero. Again, it's inverse is true, so output remains true. So what happens if I turn off this and turn on the second one? Now again, true, false is false, inverse is true, so output remains true. Pretty fine. Now what happens if I turn on both? So true on the top and true on the bottom. In this case, output is true and it's inverse is false, so output is false. This is your NAND gate. Super easy. And this is what? Now this is A dot b which is your first input is a and b and inverse sorry yeah and inverse is not so that was what we wanted to do here a dot b and it's inverse as a not similarly we're gonna create now a nor gate okay so i will disconnect that i can rename that to nor and here very simple instead of and you can take or And this is your OR. That's it. Let's download and check. In case of OR gate, you have A plus B and then the NOT operation. So here you have something like that. Okay, so let's have a look. Build is succeeded. It's going to take some seconds to download. Here is the warning download. All right, succeeded. Let's run the project. There you go. Now my both inputs are true from the last last example. So output is true and in inverse is false, output is false. So in the last example, when the both inputs were true, that output was false as well because of the NAND gate. So here, if my any of the input is true, output will be true because it's an OR gate. So, so with the NOT operation, it will be false. 
Let's see if I turn off first input here. In the last example, here the output was true, but in NOR gate the output is false because the output of OR gate is true, hence the output of NOT gate is false. So let me turn off my second input as well. Now if you see here, both inputs are false, and then its inverse operation is true, and then the output is true. So this is your NOR gate. If you want to try building a Boolean table for that, do that, it will be very helpful to understand how the output is behaving based on the status of inputs. So maybe take it as an exercise, draw the Boolean diagram for NAND and NOR. You should just You can just do it, you don't have to submit that. <laughs> just do it on the paper and see, relate what you are doing with your simulation or real PLC and how the output is actuating. If it's following the Boolean operation or Boolean expression or not, it's good to exercise that if this is your first time working on FPDs. All right, and now the third example was ZAR gate, A bar, A bar, B plus AB bar. <clears throat> In this case, what we can do, we can first design the ZAR gate ourselves. Although you will find the ZAR gate in this PLC software, you have built in ZAR gate, but before we use that, let's design it ourselves. So it was A bar B, so which means it's an AND gate. So I'm going to take here AND gate because this is a dot b plus, so there's no not here, a b bar. So I have to take another, maybe just and gate. So here, notice that we have a not operation on a, all right? Which means I have to take a not gate. I have to take a not gate on one of the input. So here, instead of doing it like this. So we do A bar B, which means A inverse and it with B. So this one is, if I put here, this is A bar B. Okay. And then we need to have A B bar as well. So maybe I copy that. In this case, A will be coming directly and B will be having a NOT operation. So I will copy paste that here. Let me see if I can duplicate or directly connect from there. So A is without the NOT. I can do that directly here. And B is with a NOT. Let's make it a bit cleaner. So I need a NOT gate. Let's do like this. Oh, I already have a NOT gate. So this is my B like this. So just to make it look nicer, we can zoom out a little bit so that you understand how the wire is flowing. All right, so this is A bar ended with B. This one is, if you see A, and B bar, that's A B bar. And now both of these operations, what do they have? A plus in between, which means we have to add an OR gate before adding the output. So we're gonna add another instruction block. Let's find here OR gate. So Boolean OR. And then we connect the output to the OR gate. And this is gonna be like this. So this becomes a bar b plus a b bar. So this is the logic you needed to create for ZAR gate. What will happen in this case? In this case, if any of the input is true, then the output is true. If both the inputs are false, output is false. If both the inputs are true, then also output is false. So if just one of the inputs should be true. Okay, so in this case, let's download that to our PLC and see the result. So you can see that you have to really read what is in the Boolean expression and then make the logic yourself. And it's actually very easy if you follow, if you follow very carefully where you have to put the bar, where you don't have to put the bar, things like that. Okay, it seems like downloaded. Run the PLC. 
and see the result. Great. So now we can see that both inputs are false. Case 1, 0, 0. So this is 0, its inverse is 1, and it's going to AND. So AND has one input as 1. 0, it's also going inside directly, so AND output will be 0 dot 1 is 0, which will go here as a 0. Let's go with that here. So this 0 is going here directly. This is becoming 1, but AND 0, 1 is 0, so also 0 here. And if both the inputs are 0 and the OR gate, output will be false. This situation works fine. Now I will turn on the first input. In this case, output is true. Let's track that. So true becomes false. So this is 0 here. This is anyways false, so output is false. Okay, true coming here as true. False inverse becomes true. So output of AND operation is true. And hence the output is true. Very nice. Let's try another input. So I make both false again and make another input true. Let's see what happens. True coming here. This is true and this is false. So its inverse is true. Hence the output of AND is true. And it's going to the OR gate. So output is true because this is true. Let's go down. False. Here it's false. True becomes false. So output of AND gate is false. So, but OR gate needs only one input to be true, so output is true. Perfect. Now what happens if I make both inputs true? Let's try that. In this case, output is false. Why? Let's see that. True, going to the NOT, it's becoming false, so AND gate input is false. This is true, doesn't matter, output will be false because AND gate needs all the inputs to be true. Similarly on the bottom, one of the input is true, one is false, hence output is false and hence the main output is false. So here we have seen that only one input needed to be true, which will make the output true. So this gate we have designed ourselves using this Boolean expression. You can also have a predefined czar gate in this PLC programming. We can also see that right now. So in this case, I will just take one instruction block and just look for czar or exclusive R. That's my gate, and this gate has predefined this Boolean expression inside. So in this case, you don't need any of this. Just connect this gate, and you will see the result. There you go. That's it. You can download it, and we will have the same response. This is because Adam Bradley has this function predefined in this block. And this is not a rocket science, you know, we're going to learn how we can also make your predefined functional blocks. Okay, this is also part of the lesson. You can define any Boolean expression we will do as a part of example. You can have a dot b plus a b bar plus c dot d plus f. And then you can make this logic and then compile it in one functional block. And you just call this block and your operation is done. So you can save your own function block like that. All right, so this has been done. Let's verify. So you can see that both inputs are true and output is false, like before. And I'm going to make one of the inputs false. So here you can see that first input is false and output is true because one of the input is true. Let's check the other one. Here as well, again, output is true because one of the input is true. And now I will make both inputs false and you can see that output is false. If I make both input true, then output will also be false. Very easy, right? So keep on trying that in your simulator or real PLC. It will give you more confidence. And let's continue to the next lesson. See you. Bye-bye.